Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. My name is Troy and congratulations on finding the only weekly stock list you're ever going to need as a dividend investor. In this series, I outline five dividend stocks that you need to know about the most going into each and every week. Are you sure about that? Now you might be wondering, how do I get down to five stocks when there are literally thousands of stocks out there? Well, I start by looking for any stock that has an ex-dividend date for the following week. In this case, that's July 1st through July 5th, which got me down to just 86 stocks. Then I require those remaining stocks to have a dividend streak of at least five years to display consistency and longevity, which brought me down to just 31 stocks. Finally, I look for stocks that have a long history of outperforming the S&P 500 so we can make the most money. And this week, there were only 11 or 12.79% of the original list that met all of those requirements and deserved my deeper attention. From there, I spend countless hours looking through all these remaining stocks that provide you guys with the best of the best. So if you guys could take two seconds to just click that like button and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to show your appreciation we'll call it even even steven thank you for that and now let's get to the five stocks you need to know about going in the next week beginning with serviced first bank corp stock ticker sfbs sfbs is a quarterly payer in the financial sector paying one dollar and twenty cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 2.04 percent SFBS has been paying and growing this dividend over the past decade. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 15.65%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 17.41%, and a payout ratio of 27.59%. Now, at the time of recording, Service First Bank Shares was actually trading 17.08% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of July 1st with a payout date of July 9th. And looking here at this chart, you'll be able to see the growth of a $10,000 investment into this stock versus the S&P 500 over the past 10 years. That 10K while reinvesting your dividends would have brought back $43,942.38 if you invested it into SFBS, while that $10,000 with the dividends reinvested into the S&P 500 would have only turned into $33,242.49. That is a $10,699.89 difference on the side of SFBS. Down here at the bottom, that 10K without reinvesting those dividends would have turned into $42,522.94 with SFBS, while the 10K without reinvesting the dividends into the S&P 500 would have brought back $30,544.94. That's a difference of $11,978. And the difference between reinvesting and not reinvesting those dividends was $1,419.44. Okay, we're off to a good start. Next up at number four is Simpson Manufacturing, stock ticker SSD. SSD is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector paying $1.12 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.65%. SSD has been paying and growing this dividend for the last 11 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 5.49%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 4.23%, and a very low payout ratio at 11.79%. At the time of recording, Simpson Manufacturing was trading 21.41% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of July 3rd with a payout date of July 25th. And same chart here, up at the top, we have that 10K that would have turned into $54,440.09, outperforming the S&P 500 by $21,197.60. Down here at the bottom, that 10K without reinvesting dividends would have still brought back $50,056.59, outperforming the the S&P 500 by $19,511.65, and that results in a difference between reinvesting and not reinvesting those dividends of $4,383.50. Getting excited. Moving on to number three on this week's list is Republic Services, stock ticker RSG. RSG is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector paying $2.14 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.12%. RSG has been paying and growing this dividend for the last 21 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 7.72%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 7.39%, and a payout ratio of just 31.63%. Now, at the time of recording, Republic Services was trading 2.5% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of July 2nd and a payout date of July 12th. And same chart, we have $10,000 invested into RSG while reinvesting your dividends. That would have brought back $62,518.66, outperforming the S&P 500 by $29,276.17. Down here at the bottom, 10K without reinvesting the dividends, RSG would have turned into $55,459.91, outperforming the S&P by 
$714.97, and the difference between reinvesting and not reinvesting those dividends was $7,058.75. And we're about halfway through this week's video. If you guys haven't left a like on the video already, please take two seconds to do that as it helps me continue to grow the channel. And also at the end of the video, leave a comment down below. And I want to know if you guys own any of these stocks and how they're doing for you. Or if any stocks I mentioned in today's video piqued your interest, let me know down below. But now let's get to number two. Coming in as the second most important stock you need to know about going into this week is Heiko, stock ticker HEI. Heiko is a semi-annual payer in the industrial sector, paying $0.22 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of just 0.1%. Now, Heiko has been paying and growing this dividend over the last 20 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 7.73%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 9%, and a payout ratio of just 5.22%. Now, at the time of recording, Heiko was trading 2.05% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of July 1st with a payout date of July 15th. And that $10,000 investment into HEI 10 years ago while reinvesting your dividends would have brought back $88,738.97, outperforming the S&P by $55,496.48. The 10K without reinvesting the dividends still would have brought back $87,744.99, outperforming by even more money at $57,000. $7,200.05, and the difference between reinvesting and not reinvesting those dividends would have been $993.98. And here it is. The number one stock you need to know about going in the next week is Quanta Services, stock ticker PWR. PWR is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector paying $0.36 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of just 0.13%. Now, Quanta Service has been paying and growing this dividend over the last six years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 16.27%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 52.51%, and a very sustainable payout ratio at just 3.7%. Now, at the time of recording, Quanta Services was trading 4.49% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of July 1st with a payout date of July 12th. And that $10,000 investment into this one 10 years ago while reinvesting the dividends would have brought back $80,538.35, outperforming by $47,295.86. The 10K without reinvesting the dividends still would have brought back $79,562.78, outperforming by $49,017 dollars and 84 cents and the difference between reinvesting the money and keeping it for yourself would have been 975 dollars and 57 cents take that for data remember to use that comment section down below to let me know if you guys own any of these stocks and how they're doing for you and if you don't own any of them did you guys hear about any of these stocks for the first time and if so which ones look the most interesting to you let me know down below and if you guys enjoyed this video check out this video right here to see if it also tickles your fancy but until next time see you